Hello guys, uh, welcome back to this uh, tutorial and uh, it's yet another STM32 tutorial that I'm going to show you how you can receive SMS uh, using GSM SIM 900 and STM32 as you can see from the video I have the SIM 900A uh, from TinySign and also I have my nuclear board that I'll be using and also the uh, my small phone here to send SMS. So uh, this is uh, the tiny sign uh, GSM module, and I just need to connect four wires. That is the VCC and ground. They are in this uh, connector, and we have the RX and TX pin of this uh, module. It communicates using UART. So you connect TX of this board to TX of UISTM-2 and the rx to rx pin of your stm that's two so uh, basically since i'll be using f401 i'll connect uh, my uh, tiny sign module to my usat one which is uh, in d8 and d2 and also use uh, uart2 uh, which is connected uh, through the serial port using my usb uh, cable and then I'll be using this LED for demonstration and I'll be good to go so let's go ahead and create uh, a project so I go to uh, Cubemx and uh, start a new project so I'll select the board that I'm using I'm using F401RE so just select on the board and uh, start project then you can initialize your default mode or not uh, since you are going to configure that in a uh, pinout and configuration so let's go ahead and clear all the pinouts and uh, i'm going to select several pins that i'll be using so i'm going to use the led connected to pin pa5 so I'll have this labeled LED. Then you go to system call and enable the external uh, resonators. And then go to connectivity, go to USAT1, whereby you shall connect our uh, GSM module. You can see it is in pin P810 and P9. And I'm going to set the board rate to be 9600. And also, I have to use that too. And I uh, will select a synchronous also. And I'll have the board rate to be 9600. So, from there, I go to clock configuration. You can check the configuration. I'm going to select this to be 84 megahertz. So from there I go to project manager and uh, give your project a name, I call it uh, same 900 uh, receive, receive messages. So I'll be using MDK arm, so select on uh, MDK arm or the tool ID that we're going to be using for our code uh, building so just go ahead and generate code so, uh, from there you open your project so after opening your project I go to application user call and I uh, can click on the main.c and uh, then the first thing I want to do I want to include the SIM 900 uh, library files that I created. So I'll go to the folder and I'll copy this to the SIM 900.c and SIM 900.h to my uh, project folder. So it is in Cubemx 
and it seems 900 received messages go to call and uh, just paste it here drag the dot h in include and drag the dot c in the uh, source folder go back to my project uh, right click on the application user call then add existing files to the group then go to the folder go to call source then click on the uh, sim 900 dot c and click close and then uh, from there i'm going to add several header files so yeah include i want to include stdio.h then want also to include uh string.h And also finally I'm going to include the sim 900 dot h sim 900 dot h so I go ahead and open the documentation of sim 900 dot h and uh, can also open the sim 900 dot c and uh, I can see that uh, there was this previous error that I saw just add the semicolon and then from there just go ahead and build the project check for any errors so uh, from here just to uh, explain a few what is in the sim 900.c uh, I'll go to the sim 900.h and define that we have the initialization function and you, you can also read uh, the message uh, in the inbox and you just have to uh, pass a parameter that is an integer if you want to read message one just write one if you want to read message two just write two you can also uh, read all the messages in the inbox and uh, you can also send a message and this takes two parameters the number and also the message that you want to send and then you can delete a single message and then you can uh, delete all the messages in the sim then you can find a string in the message that you have received and then this function just check the number of messages are present in the memory and then these are uh, message interrupt well doesn't speak uh, it's used but uh, just to activate or uh, just to set the gsm in uh, message reception mode so we have this function the read delete last uh, message just reads or deletes the last message so if you want to, to read the last message you just pass read if you want to delete the last message you just pass delete so and then this is so it's supposed to clear the message detail or uh, structure that stores uh, the messages uh, the the message information that is the sender uh, the message body date received and time received so just to start uh, you can see the structure here the source the uh, message sender body time received and date so I go to dot c and uh, copy this uh, declare this in the main dot c as extern and then uh, from there I go to uh, user code begin to and I'll initialize my sim 900 Uh, this just check whether the device is ready uh, to send or receive messages and then from there I'll use a function called uh, use if uh, if read uh, or delete if read delete last message so if I just want to read uh, equals one so 
what I'm going to do here is after it has read the message I'm going to check for a certain string in the message so I'm going to use again the if statement if uh, finding text find in text I'm going to look for a word LED on and I'm going to search this in the message body so message details uh, dot uh, message body so if the text is found that is text uh, text okay uh, we can uh, do something we can turn on the LED uh, GPIO uh, right pin and uh, it is LED GPIO port then LED pin and finally we have a GPIO pin set and uh, if you find uh, a string that is LED off uh, this should just turn off the LED and after we read that message uh, we can just delete it so read uh, last read delete last message so going to delete it and then uh, just for debugging purposes I want to know the message that I have sent and I are going to use our uh, the serial monitor to check on which the me on the message that we said so I'm just going to send uh, using uh, how you are transmit and I'm going to transmit to you what to and uh, going to send message message details dot first we are going to send the sender then uh, the size of the message is the string length of this so we can have string length Then comma we shall have um, hal max delay to transmit hal max delay to transmit that and then just allow me to copy paste this and uh, we can have one uh, this and just have the word message message received and now I can have a new line and you write justify so we can these are how many characters so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen eight ten so we can just pass twenty so 20 are enough and um, can have uh, 500 milliseconds to transmit that so from there if we send this we send the message sender then we send the message body message dot body and then the size will be the screen render of message dot body then from there you can have the time so time received and then the time received then we can have date received and uh, finally date received so uh, let's build this 
so I have uh, zero errors so I'm going to load uh, the code to the board and I'm going to select my serial uh, terminal so I'm going to manually reset the board now and see whether I have any message So we have no message in memory, so I'm going to send a message uh, LED on and uh, we should see the LED turning on and we should see the message on the uh, screen. So you can see that we have the message, the message has been received, it has been sent by my number and the message is LED on plus the time. Uh, you can check this time in the time down here at uh, the same time so we can also send LED off and uh, you should see this LED turning off and you should see the message on the screen also so you can see that the LED has turned off uh, I can also you write another message to thank my fan so just say uh, thank you so thank you fans subscribe so thank you fans subscribe so just send that and uh, we should see a message here thank you fans subscribe and uh, that is the uh, message so uh, thank you guys for following up with me and uh, if you have any question leave it in the comment section if you like the video please share like or even subscribe and uh, if you have tried this and it has worked for you let me know if you have another if you have sim 800 uh, let me know i'll also help you uh use this the same same uh, library file so i uh, don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial